Hey YouTube, Brian here with Fisher Fast. Haven't made a video in a few months. Felt now was a good time to make a new video and just give kind of a preview of the upcoming project that's going to be complete here within a couple weeks, I'd say. Not too much left to do on this one. Just have some detailing, tuning, and some you know, putting together some little bits and pieces that still need to get done. But for the mo most part, it is done. Uh, we're going to do a start up here for the first time at the end of this video. that you hear what this exhaust sounds like, I'm hoping it's going to sound mean. It's similar to the, the Zeno car, if you've watched my videos that I've done in the past with the you know, full 3-inch piping, custom mufflers, X-pipe, except I moved the X-pipe back a little bit further in this design and also increase the cross section or middle section of that x-pipe to be enlarged a little bit to hopefully blend those pulses together a little more be a, a touch less raspy and a little more smooth but still that nice high pitched uh, fast revving sound i'm not going to go into too much detail with the modifications yet as i want to save that for the the full video when the car is actually done but you can see the 0708 tail lights are in look much better Got a nice beveled three inch. I think these are actually four inch uh, exhaust tips here. And should we give it a fist test? See what happens. It's all, almost, you can almost get your fists in there. Those are big pipes. And they look awesome. They're beveled and uh, dual walled as well. Especially with that carbon uh, diffuser on there. They look really cool. So I still got to get the spoiler on here. That carbon spoiler goes on the back. We got the carbon updated mirrors still to go on here. That'll happen when the door panels go on. You can see on the interior, it's still a little naked. Like I said, the door panels got to go on. Center console goes on. And we got the door panels over here getting ready to be reinstalled. And that will go with this carbon trim. So this is the real deal, hand laid carbon over top of the wood i shouldn't say over top but these are the original panels that came in the car original trim pieces that have been you know, replaced with real carbon fiber so these aren't aftermarket parts so the fit and finish of the parts is you know just like oem you can see how nice that pattern is for that carbon let me see and get a close-up so it is in the sun it really pops has a 3d look to it as you'd expect and then on the shift knob as well you have the engine start stop button for keyless go got the carbon surround on the back side of it and then the front was replaced with perforated uh, black leather as well and then one of the modifications i i personally love the best but not a lot of people may you think they need because they don't want to spend you know, a ton of money on replacing a part that doesn't really affect performance per se it's not like you know putting a pulley on or an exhaust but to me this is something that you you, you see you feel you touch every time you're in the car and i hate the stock steering wheel it reminds me of a like a school bus steering wheel because it's so big and thin and just doesn't fit the inside of the car and the theme I'm kind of going for you can see it here I mean it's just ugly and outdated and thin especially when you're holding it so we've got perforated leather on the sides here you can see that and then the smooth leather at the top smooth leather at the bottom and the diameter of the wheel itself when you're gripping and holding it is definitely thicker we got the aluminum OEM shift paddles here as well to be put in so that's going to be really cool for the new owner yeah so that's uh maybe we'll take a just quick peek at the hood here underneath the hood i'm not said i'm not going to go into too much detail what's all done just yet so i want to save that for the next video let's see what we got going on here you can see we got some nice big proud filters right here right up in the grill area the grill isn't on there obviously but it makes changing these filters so much easier all you gotta do is pop off the grill 
one bolt here one bolt here and the filters come right out you can change these are like rain socks just in case you didn't know the the actual filters underneath of here obviously and this just helps to protect from uh, standing water that may splash up on it a little bit of rain you get these socks are hydrophobic so the water bounces off of them you should replace those probably every six months or you know, eight thousand miles depending on what you drive and there's the money shot right there super clean underneath everything done very nice so i'm not going to go into too much what's done we'll save that but there's a peak and don't, don't mind how dirty the car is like i said it hasn't been washed in probably four or five months since i got the damn thing but it's going to get a full inside inside uh, inside outside detail as soon as i'm done i'm waiting till the final tune is done and the wheels will go on and it'll look pretty and brand new so now we'll do a quick start up here this is the first time i'm starting the car up since i've done all the modifications and exhaust work to it so hopefully this goes well and it sounds amazing so let's see what happens now Damn, she is rowdy. She sounds healthy too. That engine is whisper quiet. No, no belt noises or pulley noises or nothing. I mean, that thing is you know, dead silent when you're standing up here in the front of it. So, I think this thing's gonna sound pretty wild out on the road. It sounds loud in the garage, obviously, and it is loud. I'm not gonna say it's not, but it's definitely gonna be quiet around town and loud when you got your foot into it. That's exactly what you want in a you know, performance exhaust that you don't want to be annoyed with all the time. So like I said, there's a little update. I'm going to post uh, maybe some revving once the engine warms up here. I'll post that on my Instagram. Uh, if you go to Instagram, just search for Fisher Fast, F-I-S-H-E-R, F-A-S-T, all one word. You can find my account on there. Uh, I'm going to post a couple exhaust clips and within a couple weeks I'll have a complete video up on this car when it's done. Thanks for watching.